guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you guys are probably thinking you cannot believe that I'm sitting on your screen right now about to do a Gymshark clothing haul because I haven't done one in so long. In fact, since last year in November, <laughs> please forgive me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through a Gymshark clothing haul, specifically looking at some of the sports bras that have just been released in some really, really nice colors. So I have got four different styles of training bras to show you. I've got the Vital Seamless 2.0, leggings and the vital seamless 2.0 shorts the animal seamless leggings okay so i'll start with the sports bras okay so obviously choosing the right sports bra is so important ladies doing a high intensity workout wearing a low impact bra is not gonna be good for the boobs bouncing around and it's probably gonna cause you a lot of pain if you're not sure on how to measure for a sports bra i know gymshark has a really really good link on their website that takes you through how to create Correctly measure yourself for a sports bra, which I will link in the description below. Okay, so the first sports bra <laughs> is this ruched sports bra. So this one is a medium support and it's definitely one of my favourites. It has removable pads, the back is across design, and it also has adjustable straps. And then on the back, if you can see, it has a little mesh detail just in the middle there. So you probably see me wearing this one quite a lot in my workout videos. It's been a favorite of mine since they first released the Ease Sports Bra, which was years ago now. And why I love it so much is just because the back is so open. So you can see all the back muscles working. And I just find it a really, really comfortable sports bra to wear. So I wear a size small in a sports bra and I am a 32C. So the colors that I have released in this sports bra are black, this really gorgeous, gorgeous orange color, this kind of off gray kind of color, and also white, which I don't actually have here, but I've asked for two of them because I literally wear white so much through the spring and through the summer. Okay, so some of you asked, are they good enough to like wear running? I would say this is a medium support, so I guess it just depends on the size of your boots. I find that if I wear this one and I run in it, I feel strapped in. Okay, so the next sports bra is the Scoop Neck Training Sports Bra. I wear this one in a small, and this has released in this color and also a light brown color, but I don't actually have that one here. So this one has padded straps on the top where the sports bra sits here, which is super, super comfortable. Because going back to this one, I find that if I wear this for too long, I end up, it ends up kind of like digging right into my skin. So that's an added bonus on this sports bra. Then it has adjustable straps on the back. That's what it looks like. It's quite a simple design. And it also has removable pads. Someone did ask, are the bras thick enough to hide the nipples? <laughs> it's a really random question, but yeah, because they have removable pads, the pads are thick enough. So if you don't want your nipple showing, then just keep the pads in. And it's just a really, really comfortable sports bra to wear. Okay, so on to the next sports bra, which I think alongside the ruched sports bra it is my favorite i'm not sure out of the two what one i would pick as my favorite actually no i think it is this one okay so this is the v-neck bra and this is a low support as well and the colors that have been released in it are this gorgeous purple which i think is a new favorite of mine obviously black is black and then also this lovely saffron kind of yellow color okay so this one has the v kind the v-neck here it kind of dips down into that v-neck style and the reason why i love this sports bra so much is the way that it's styled at the front with the straps so instead of it going instead of them going like straight back over there they kind of because of the racer back style on the back they kind of position themselves going over nearer the neck instead of over the shoulders. And I just feel like it really accentuates the shoulders and just makes them look a really nice shape. This one doesn't have adjustable straps. They're just kind of elasticated, but it has removable pads too. Another reason why I love this one is like the ruched sports bra, because it's that racer style on the back, it shows off the back muscles so, so nice. Like it's pretty much fully open because all you literally have 
is this strap running down the middle of the back. And again, it's just a really, really comfortable sports bra. Like the material of all the ones that I've just shown are all the same, just a really soft, comfortable material. So someone did ask me the question to compare the new yellow color of the sports bra to the old yellow color. So I'm gonna do that right now for you. I personally prefer the old color just because I'm not really a fan of this bright kind, not, it's not even bright, I think it's kind of dull to be honest. I'm not sure, but I just don't really get on with it. I feel like it just doesn't suit me. <laughs> just don't suit me. This one is quite a bit old now and I have worn it quite a lot of time so it might have been might look a little bit worse for wear. The old kind of colour is lighter. It's more of like a pastel colour. This is more of a bold yellow and that's the difference. Okay and then last but not least we have the mesh neckline training sports bra. So this one's a high impact sports bra and it's released in this coconut white colour, taupe grey, black and also navy but I don't have the navy one here. So with this one, I do really, really like it. It really does hold you in. It's a really comfortable sports bra. The only thing that put me off was the way that the side bit here sat on me. It kind of like stuck out. I'm not sure if that's because I don't have enough boob to fill it out up there, or if it's just the way it kind of sat on me. Um, but I just think that was a bit odd. But all in all, it's a really, really comfortable sports bra that is definitely, gonna hold those bad boys in. It's definitely gonna hold those bad boys in. It is very high impact. Okay, so it has preformed cups in the internal bra in there. It has adjustable straps that loop through these rings at the back, as you can see there. Then it has the clasp on the back, so just like a bra. It has three different sizing options there. And then it has like a cushioned back as well on the clasp, just to make it that extra bit comfortable. And then on the front, the style is, it has like this little mesh bit here, but it's not see-through, you can't see through it at all. So these are just obviously the four sports bras I have here. There are some other low support, medium support, and high support ones on the website. I think if, when you go on the website, you can select if you wanna look at the low, medium, or high, and you can kind of filter it like that. Okay, so now onto the new Vital Seamless 2.0. And for any of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you will know that the Vital Seamless is literally my favorite range. The colors that they did release in are blue, black, taup, which I don't have here, and yellow. So I'm wearing the black now. Um, obviously this is the blue. I've got the yellow here. So there's just a few things that have been upgraded on the new Vital 2.0. The mile design that you have on the front and the back, it's literally just like more dots, like a wider kind of pattern that goes down. And then the fabric has been improved, so it's better durability and it's much softer. I've personally found with these ones that they feel a lot more compressed. How can you even get more compressed than the original Vital Seamless? I don't know. Not in a bad way though, at all. They just feel really, really nice. They feel really fitted, but not restrictive. And I swear as well, they feel like a little bit of a higher waistband, but I'm not too sure if that's just me thinking it. And the contour, it, it actually comes up here as well on the waistband, um, which it didn't in, in the ones before. I just find the Vital Seamless range really, really flattering. I feel like it really shows your shape off because of how fitted they are. Like with these, you. I never feel like I'm having to pull my leggings up all the time. You know when you're training and you're having to do this, pull them up, pull them up like this, because they're falling down all the time. You do not get that with these. Once you get them on, they are literally just stuck to you. So with sizing, um, I've heard a lot of people say that they size down in Vital Seamless. I don't know if I said size up or size down then. A lot of people size up in the Vital Seamless just because they are quite compressed. But they're not compressed in a bad way, like they're not restrictive or anything like, like that or really uncomfortable and they don't dig in your waist at all. When I first started wearing Vital Seamless, which was when it first came out in 2018, I went for a small, but that was just purely because I, believe it or not, before I joined Gymshark, I had never worn Gymshark clothes at all. Uh, so I just went with small and I found that on my waist, they started to gape. And it wasn't because of the, like going in the wash a few times. It was literally just because they fit me on my legs, but then when it got up to my waist on the back, they just, yeah, they just gaped. Just, it was just purely the sizing. So I changed to an extra small and they are so much better. Around the waist, they just, 
they just stick to me. No matter how many times they go in the wash, they don't go baggy. Like, I don't know how they do it. They're definitely a good legging to buy if you want to get a lot of wear out of them, just because the quality is so, so good. With the yellow, obviously they are quite a light color, uh, and I've never got on with light colors just because obviously I've got a leg sleeve and you can always see my leg tattoo through the light colors. But I don't think they're as bad as light, the like, light colors that Gymshark have released before. Um, so I definitely think that they've stepped up their game because although you could see my tattoo through them, it wasn't really noticeably obvious like i felt like i really had to look in the mirror to see my tattoo if you do obviously wear these i would definitely advise to wear white underwear and also they're just a really good legging to mix and match stuff with i just basically love <laughs> the vital seamless so while we're on the subject still of the Vital Seamless Leggings, a question that I do get asked a lot is what underwear do I wear? So I'm gonna show you right now, guys. So this is the thong that I wear underneath my leggings. In the UK, we have a shop called Primark, also known as Primani. And a lot of girls will recognize these. They're just a flat kind of lacy thong. And even though they're lace, you can't see the lace through. And I just think it's because it feels like seamless almost. I think I've seen this style as well on Victoria's Secret. So if you don't have a Primani where you are, I would have a look on there. Okay, so now onto the Vital Seamless 2.0 shorts, which I'm really, really happy that they've upgraded them from the last ones because I did not get on with the last ones at all. I don't know about you guys. Well, I saw so many people wearing them and I was like, oh, I wish I could wear them, but I just don't get on with them. So with these ones, they're just the same as the new 2.0 leggings. They're really compressed. The waistband feels nice and compressed, but not too restrictive. The material feels so much different to the first ones. I found with the first ones it, the material just felt thin and flimsy and I just I don't know I can't really describe it I just didn't get on with them whereas these are just really really flattering and the material is definitely different because I can feel it in my bones and they're just all over a much better short <laughs> okay, so now onto the new animal seamless leggings. So these released in two different colours. I don't have the other leggings in the other colour, but I do have the sports bra. So they're released in this kind of blue colour and this black. So they're exactly the same as the original. The only thing that has changed is the pattern. So this is the original, this is the new. And you can see that it's more of a bold pattern, like it stands out a lot more than the kind of black on black. This is more light gray on black. And then they have the scrunch bump detail in the middle on the back to make the booty look good. And actually, these are another one of my favorites. So the Vital Seamless and the Animal Seamless are my two favorite ranges. Again, super flattering. I would say these have more of a give to something like the Vital Seamless. So really comfortable to train in. But with these ones, I feel like they're not just for training. You can go and run errands in them because they're a really nice soft material. Whereas I feel like the Vital Seamless, and uh, the Vital Seamless you can as well, but they, I would say they're more for training. These are a different material basically. They're fairly compressed, but not as compressed as the Vital Seamless. I would probably say size down in these just because they are quite stretchy. Um, and if you want them quite fitted, I think sizing down would be the best bet. They're exactly the same style as the camo leggings. So if any of you have got the camo leggings and you wanna know what these are like, they are literally the same style. And I wear an extra small in these. Okay, so I wasn't planning on showing the sports bra that goes with it, but I'll just tell you about it anyway, as I've got it here. So it's a medium support. It doesn't have adjustable straps. It has this crisscross design on the back, and then it has this crossover style at the front there. It's definitely a bra that does hold you in. I feel like very secure when I wear it, and it has removable pads. So the next piece I wanna show you is these camo kind of like loose fitting running shorts. So I wear a size, what size do I wear in these? I wear a size extra small in these. They're super comfy. They're not high waisted, but they're not low waisted. So I'd say they were like mid. This top bit is a mesh layer. And then underneath you have those kind of tight cycling shorts. They're the camo pattern and it has Gymshark in black 
down the side. And then to go with it is this camo cropped tee. Uh, so this is also mesh, it's literally just mesh, it doesn't have anything else underneath it. And then it has the Gymshark logo running down the neckline there. And I wear a small in this one. Okay guys, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions about any of the items that I've showcased in this video, please let me know in the comments below. And also, please let me know any suggestions that you would like to see. I do want to start doing more Gymshark hauls so if there's anything in particular that you want me to talk about then just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.